Hello, I'm George Hayes and today this is tutorial number six and we're going to be covering how to use the SDL mixer uh, to load in music and to play sound effects. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is actually show, uh, make sure you have the mixer and all like that added in as far as your includes. Uh, if you haven't seen how to add the mixer in as far as your DLLs and stuff like that you should watch that portion the first video as far as in the series and it shows how to do that and we're gonna go back over here real quick though and we're gonna show you or sorry you should go into your mixer file as far as where you have it stored as far as in your SDL directory if you went by my first tutorial and go in and you're going to need to make sure you grab out the DLLs that you're going to need for it so they're going to be under your binary and you know, your basic mixer DLL is here MPEG2 and OGG uh, and there's other you know plugins and FLAC and Forbis, which also goes with this um, port and yeah. So grab which ones you, you'll be needing. In this case, we're going to be using uh, MP3 and OGE and stuff like that, and we'll be using the primary WAV file that also comes with it. So I've added SDL mixer in as far as on here on game.h uh, this is using the sta same standard basic uh, startup um, project and adding in the different stuff to it and we've added in as far as this stuff here for music uh, where we can store as far as the mus actual music a pointer and all to it uh, a boolean for turning music on and off pausing music and then to play the sound effects and then we're actually have a pointer as far as for uh, in this case a chunk or one of the sound effects a gunshot in this case all right so go ahead and we'll set these two pointers to null and the rest of them to zero on here and then we're going to make sure we turn the audio and all on we're going to use a sample rate of 22,050. It's less CPU intensive that way. All right. Default format, and as you can see, channels and chunk size. All right, is here. Okay, and returns a false if it doesn't initialize. And of course, also you'll need most likely a steel knit everything or at least your sound as far as in this we're not really having any graphics going on in here but so there's not really any major change there but we are going to load some content we're going to load a uh, music file which really isn't that musical I'm going to show you real quick what it is um, it's me going testing well one two three testing one two three twice and if we go over to SEO games and then down to that tutorial and I'll just play the file so you know what it is real quick let's see here we go testing one two three testing one two three okay so that's the testing and then the gunshot is like that all right and we'll go ahead back under SDL games it's gonna sound probably a little different because that one's recorded at 44 one and uh, games is at 22,050 all right so minimize that back all right so we load it to load up the music using mix load mus which is short for music obviously and then whatever your file is uh, testing and wave uh, make sure your wave file is the uh, like the windows format pcm type file all right i noticed there are other wave formats that don't load up in here all right and gunshot uh, is an actual wave file because Unfortunately, I couldn't get MP3s or anything else to load, and there's as far as into the chunk, and I'll have to see if there's later on if I can figure out a way to use MP3s for the chunks or something. Uh, we'll do that, but 
if nothing else, I guess it can be loaded in music, but chunks uh, load up differently, so and are used a bit differently. So you, for now, you probably want to use a wave file to load your sound effects as far as into chunks. All right, and you're going to use mix load wave there. All right, if it gets a null, it just returns false. Okay, so on event, there's a few things I did add in here. All right. Um, when you press the button, spacebar, it sets play music to one. All right, and of course, escape escapes out of the program right now because it sets it to false and goes back through the you know loop here and kicks it out when running gets turned false. So back to events. All right, now pause music uses uh, flip flop as far as under this setting music to one if it's not already one and if it's zero it sets it back the other way so anyway and then play sound effects it does the same thing as far as on that all right and i'll show you there's um potential differences between using the sdl key up versus sdl key down and this can actually be a beneficial switch all right and i'll show you why in a few minutes okay so on loop this is where I'm actually running and playing the music. I could drop it in as far as on render, but I'm keeping that primarily for graphics. I could sit there and set up an on sound or something like that. But for now, as far as on loop is handling it. And what we get to do is in this section, we're sitting there to check whether or not uh, the music's already playing. All right. And if play music is set to one. If it is, then we sit there and actually come in here and we do a mix play music, music zero. All right, and this part here is obviously your music files or data that you want to play. And then this here is the number of iterations you want. In this case, I got zero iterations. Minus one, I believe, goes on forever. And then, of course, one, two, three, and so forth like that. We'll sit there and play it however number of times you put in there. Okay. Now, if we look at mix play music, here is one, right? This is where we're going to use to shut it off. Okay. And we also set play music back to zero here. Now, on both of these. So, if it's already playing and we hit the play music button, you know, space bar, it's going to set it to one, and it's going to one. So, it's going to Turn earn music off it says mix halt music. Okay. Now the pause system. All right. Where this will actually stop it completely, and when you go to restart, it will end up starting at the beginning of the music again. All right. Pause will actually stop it in the middle, so you will end up only playing that portion of the music going on towards the end of it. All right and obviously resume music is fairly self understanding there all right so pause resume all right now to play the sound effects is down here all right and it putting a minus one in here tells it it's looking for uh, uh, to take whatever channel it finds you know the first one it comes across it uses uh, then your music data and then the number of times you want it to repeat also so and it has the same idea as far as with uh, play music as far as in that regard so zero would be no repeats re 10 repeats it would be play the thing 10 one time then 10 additional times so you'd end up hearing 11 times out of that all right so and if you put it at minus one you'll just keep on going forever and ever and ever all right, on render, I don't have anything in here because I'm not really doing that. But then on cleanup, all right, we got free music and free chunks as far as like that. And excuse me. And then mix close audio, all right. And then, of course, destroy your windows and everything, render and get out of the program. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what it just does. And you, I know you can't see me pressing the keys and so forth. And it should be already built. But 
as I press the space bar right now. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's one loop through it. And so, well, it didn't actually loop, it went one time through it. So now there's a problem with the way I have it as far as in the keyboard, but I'll show you that in a second. All right, now to play the gunshot, we have it to the G key. And there you go, 11 times in the gunshot. Okay, but now the problem I have as far as using the SDL down key in this method is if I hold this down, Testing one. Check, check. it does like check, that. Check, check. Okay, so it does that way with it now. So using the actual SDL up, and as far as in regards to it, is a better option as far as this. And I'll show you why. Because while you're holding it down, it's continuously setting it to one, and each time it goes through that portion of the loop, all right, it starts it, and it just goes on through to the next part. So this keeps going as far as in the background. It doesn't actually stop here and then go and finish it up and then go to this. All right. So what you got here is where it's going to set it to zero. So it comes back. So it's, okay, well, it's set to zero and it does it and it goes and plays it again. And it, it, well, it's playing. So it stops it and then starts it and stops it and starts and stops and starts it using these two things continuously. If you just hold the button down. All right, because you use the same button held down to sit there and do it. But now if we go over here into uh, on event and we line this one out and put it down here. All right, and we sit there and rebuild. It will only trigger once testing the one, two, three, button testing comes up. One, two, three. So if I hold down on the button, it doesn't do anything. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, see, it only comes up after that one time. Now, the on loop as far as, you know, the gunshots we're showing you, that was 10 times. We can sit there, set it to two times, rebuild, play, and total three shots. All right. Now, music, we sit there and add up here. I told you you could sit there and do that as far as we'll do it one repeat. So you'll hear it say testing one, two, three, four times. All right. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Did I do that correct? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. That's weird. All right. Maybe this doesn't work like the chunks does. All right. Let's find out. Testing one, two, three. 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 All right. So that time it went through it. Huh. That's interesting. It looks like there's a bug in that. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. But yet it'll play it three times if I put a two in here. <laughs> testing one, two, three. 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 Okay, so it's played it a total of three times that time and plays it only once. All right, so they they apparently have a bug as far as in regards to this. All right, uh, I guess I'll have to sit there and let them know about it. But anyway, that's something to be uh, mindful of if you're sitting there doing it. Um, apparently, if you tell it to loop one time, it will sit there and actually loop. Only It won't loop. And when you tell it to loop two times, it actually loops two times. And zero, I think it does correctly. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yep, and that's just a one time. Okay. And if you put minus one in here, it goes on forever. Testing one, two, three, 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 testing one, and I have to stop it.
Okay, now, last part to show you of that is, well, we'll go ahead and run that again. And we'll just go ahead and show the difference in the pause. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, now, three. If I hit testing P one, two, three. In testing the middle one, of this. Two, three. Testing one, two, three. T all right, so I'm in the middle of it now. If I unpause it, testing one, two, three. Same. Testing one, two, three. It. Testing one. Two. Okay, so pausing in the middle of it will actually sit there and continue back on from where it is, but obviously the halt ends from the end. So that's the conclusion of how to use uh, music and sound effects as far as in this. And I hope you enjoy it, and please like the video, and thank you very much for watching.